All right, so now let's get into ratios, all right? Hmm, interesting email I could write right now. I think I'd hit it. Yeah, it'd be a really good email. <laughs> Dear mom. All right, okay. Um, so what I'd like to go over uh, with this one, guys, is giving you a ratio. Now, we already talked about ratio and cross multiplication, all right? Now, I'm going to go over that, but I'm also going to go over using an inverse operations because there's multiple different ways to solve proportions. We don't always have to use cross multiplication. The first thing, guys, is you see this problem. I can multiply 4 times 24. I can. But if you can't, you'd have to go back and use your calculator, right? right? So what I would always recommend, guys, if you can't, um, when you look at a problem, always see if you can reduce something. Simplify it. Can 4 over 6 be reduced to a smaller fraction? Yes. 2 over 12. 2 thirds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this down to 2 thirds. Now, there's two different ways you guys can do this type of problem. All right? The first way is exactly what we discussed, which was cross multiplying. So you circle the cross products, which would be the products of your extremes and your means. Then I rewrite this as 2 times 24 equals 3 times x. Now, until you guys get pretty good at this, I would highly recommend that you rewrite this product. All right? Um, students were doing some work last class period, and they're kind of like skipping this step. If you guys are going to make a mistake, it's probably because you're not writing um, the step, this next step. Write down the step. It's only an extra step. All right? But then when it does count it, it assures you, I didn't, that's right, I'm just saying your name. It assures you that you're making the correct product. Then 2 times 24 is 48 equals 3x, 3 times 16. Then I apply my inverse operation, and 16 equals x. Right? Very good. Now, there is another way, though, to solve this that I do want to present to you guys, which, for some problems, it might be easier. Yes, do you have a question? Well, remember in the notes we talked about the cross product, right? All right, do you understand how I went from here to here? Do you understand how I took the cross products and I set them equal to each other? Do you understand that? Then I did, right, 2 times 24, which is 48. <coughs> 3 times x, which is 3x. Now I need to isolate the x, so I need to undo what's happening to the x. Since the x is being multiplied by 3, I divide by 3. So that divides into 1. 48 divided by 3 gives me 16. OK? <laughs> now, the other way I wanted to go over this, though, guys, is the same thing. If you guys had a problem, x plus 4 equals 8, x minus 4 equals 8, 4x equals 8, and x over 4 equals 8. OK? Those are all four operations you guys learned in algebra to solve an equation. Here, my variable is being added by 4. So to undo addition, I would have to apply subtraction. subtraction on both sides. Here, my variable is being subtracted by 4. So to undo subtraction, I'd have to add a 4 on both sides. Here, my variable is being multiplied by 4. So to undo multiplication, I would have to divide. divide by 4. All right, so you guys are catching on. Here, my variable is being divided by 4. So to undo division, I have to multiply, multiply by 4. Okay. Now. What I want you guys to understand, and in each one of these cases, that goes to 0, that goes to 0, that goes to 1, that goes to 1. In each one of these cases, what I want you guys to understand is, what is happening to my variable over here? What's happening to the variable? It's being divided. It's being divided. So to undo division, I can do what? Multiplication. Just multiply by 24. That's where. You're multiplying a 24 on both sides. That's all you're doing. OK, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm not, you don't have to go and apply this method. But what I want you guys to understand is, especially when we get into two variables, the reason why I'm showing you is, ladies and gentlemen, all we're doing is we're undoing. You probably need to change your seat. All we're doing is we're undoing what's happening to the variable. That's why we do cross multiplication, is to undo what's happening to the variable. Okay. So if you guys like the cross multiplication, which a lot of people do because it's very simple just to set up, 